You guys want to see what an overgrown lawn looks like? I'll show you. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is unreal. Holy smokes. Sheesh. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Mr. Lawn Whisperer here is slipping. First it was the beds. We had weeds growing in we had to take care of. Then it was the crack weeds. Um, gotta love a good crack weed. But then now, this backyard is ridiculous. It has been four weeks to the day since I've mowed this. And so first I was using the excuse, um, I mowed it, then we went to Florida for a week or eight days, whatever it was. Came back, had to catch up on all my lawns because I have a mowing business and then I'm a firefighter, so I'm gone every third day anyway. Um, and so then I, I let it grow because I wanted to do a video using a battery powered mower on a really overgrown lawn. And now, next thing you know, it's been four weeks and I haven't mowed it and uh, we're due for a cut. Another thing I want to test out here, if you can see underneath this deck, I mean, it's not perfectly clean, it's not spotless, but there's no clumps or real buildup. And a lot of people have been complaining about the Time Master when it comes to mulching, about it clogging up um, and holding on to clippings and that being a bad deal. I've never experienced that. And so if there was ever a time to test that, it would be mulching this grass that is, I don't even know how tall. Seed heads are up at 18 inches holy crap let's see what the actual grass is without the seed heads about nine to ten inches nine to ten inches 18 inch seed heads yeah i need that i bet we fill this whole thing up another complaint i hear about the time master is that the gas tank is too small which i agree it is too small but if you fill it up every time before you mow I've never had an issue. But everything I've got, except for the 30 inch Time Master, is pretty small. I'm talking about my lawn space, guys. Give me more credit than that. be able to tell that that hasn't been mowed in four weeks I mean look at that you look at the stripes even so we are obviously done with that bag section but we have got our work cut out for us here so I'm gonna be honest with you if I were someone who did not have the opportunity to bag that's my first choice it's gonna be the cleanest um, but I realize not everybody has stuff to dump or someplace to dump their clippings not everybody has a bagging system um, and so if I were gonna do this I would probably side discharge first then go through and either side discharge a second time or then mulch it up but for the sake of testing out the time mul time masters mulching capabilities seeing if it clogs seeing how well it does um, I'm gonna mulch and I might go over this too maybe three times I mean who's gonna be mowing like 15 plus inch tall grass with this thing let's put it to the test Hope you guys enjoy this. One detail I left out, one very key detail actually, is whenever doing a double cut to get the best results. Um, if you're mowing overgrown grass, is to raise your deck up all the way um, and then barely cut a little bit off or cut the least amount off possible. Lower it down, cut it again, and if you need to, lower it down, cut it again. So right here, I went ahead straight to my final destination of height of cut. Um, and as you can see, there are clippings. I mean, it's inevitable. There's gonna be clippings on the lawn if you're doing that. If you're going from this tall all the way down here versus if you raise your deck up, if you look right here, barely any clippings. And we are at the highest setting. So I'm gonna go ahead, lower it down a notch, um, and I'm going to um, mow this section right here again at the lower setting. I'm going to mow this again at the final destination setting just so we can compare a double or triple cut slowly lowering the height compared to a double or triple cut mowing it all at the same height. 
I'm gonna tell you, spoiler alert, that's the way to go. <laughs> The power of a double cut cannot be overstated, I'm telling you. Double cuts make me go nuts. So right here is the section that we started tall and we're working our way down and honestly, it looks pretty darn good. I'm not gonna lie to you, it looks really, really good. You would never be able to tell right now as it is that this thing was just like 20 inches tall in a lot of places. And then even over here where we just hacked it all off and we've double cut at that same height. I mean, there's a few spots where there's some clippings, kind of like this right here, um, not a ton. I'm not honestly not too worried about that, but overall, even it looks really, really good. So I'm very happy with how it's turned out. I'm gonna cut this one more time, uh, probably at a cross pattern at the same height that we're at. I'm gonna lower that one one more notch. Again, do it at a cross pattern and then we're gonna look at the final results. Okay, so let's take a look at how we did. Split it right down the middle here on this side over here. Um, this is where we hacked it down, mowed it three times, a triple cut. This side we mowed it, triple cut, but we slowly lowered the height of cut. Um, and I will say this side right here, in my opinion, there's no real, there's no clumps. Um, I mean, there's some, not really, there's not really anything down in here. So honestly, that looks pretty darn good. Then over here where we more or less hacked it down, um, we again, we mowed it twice this way, once this way, and again, it could probably use another cut at this same height, maybe going in a different direction, just to officially clean it up. But I mean, there's no clippings or anything. It looks really good. Um, there may be just a few little things here and there. Overall, for being four weeks to the day since I've cut it, like five times, literally five times the length of what I normally would cut it at, that is pretty good. So I would say that is how you mow overgrown grass. Now I do still, I think bagging it up is the easiest and the cleanest, um, but if you don't have that option, do a double or a triple cut or do a quadruple cut if you have the time to. Um, if you have to split this up, do it um, one height one day, come back the next day, lower it down, cut it, come back the next day, lower it down, cut it, um, and do it like that. You don't have to come out and bl blow your wad all in one load. So I gotta quit talking. See this? I mean, it looks exactly how it did. Same, you know, little green film we have on here. The only spot is this mulch chute right here. It's got some clippings here that I'll clean out, but this thing is not clogged. I had zero issues with clogging or clumping or anything like that. And the only thing that I can think of is that you're mowing really wet grass, which I don't recommend. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, but you should expect any mower to clog up or clump up if you're mowing wet grass. But I've had this thing two years now to two or three years. Two or three years, I cannot remember. Um, if you want me to do a full review on this, I will. Um, but this thing is a little beast. I love, love, love this Time Master. Oh, that is so much better. So nice.